Tracy from Lavinia Stamps. I just wanted to share our news about our brand new alcohol inks that we've launched uh, under our Lavinia Stamps branding. So as you can see we've got 12 really beautiful colours here along with the three metallics which we've got gold, silver and copper. So I'm going to put a swatch together just to show you the lovely colours so you can actually see what they look like when they come out of the bottle. Um, they've got a lovely little dropper on there which I, I find is quite nice because it doesn't pour out. It, it's a, a much slower dropper on this. It's a 20ml bottle so it's quite a nice, it's a good size as well. Okay, so I'm going to go through each colour just to show you, first of all. So we've got uh, gooseberry here, so I'm just going to drop that out onto the yepo. And you can see the colour, the lovely, lovely green that that produces. And that's all going to change when, obviously, I add the alcohol blending solution and you can see how you get a much sort of paler colour so you can go as pale as you want depending on how much alcohol blending solution you add um, so that's that's gooseberry uh, we've got harvest yellow here so I'm going to drop that It's quite a nice sort of, almost like a butterscotch. You can see that colour there. And again, I'm just going to add a few drops of the blending solution and it will give you an idea of how much lighter that can go as well. And now we've got coffee bean. It's quite a rich colour this is. So you can just, I hope you can see that again just by adding that little bit of blending solution you can see how that changes that colour completely. So it's quite, it's quite a sort of rust, colour like rust I would say although it's got like a p slightly pink undertone. Um, next one we've got uh, magenta. So it's quite a nice bright pink this is. Um, you can just about see that and again just add in that little bit of blending solution you can see how that changes. It also changes quite a lot when it dries out as well. So you can see that's really quite a bright pink that one. Okay so we've got, what have we got here? We've got seaweed which is more of a sort of blue green as opposed to the gooseberry which is quite a yellow green if that makes sense. So it's quite a dark, I would class this as a, like a forest green. And again, just by putting that little bit of blending solution, you can see how that changes again. So we're going to be working with these today anyway, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what they look like. So we've got Moonlight Orange here. So again, that's a really lovely sort of pumpkin orange I would say. Okay so I'm going to just pop that to the side. So we've got um, we've got violet 
splendor there. Again, this is just a lovely, lovely colour. The depth in these alcohol inks are just quite amazing. There's such rich colours. You only need a really tiny amount. And as I say, you can go as light as you want with these. Just keep on adding the blending solution. Okay, and we've got Ocean Blue. Which is the lovely Sky Blue. And what have we got here? Sunlit yellow. It's quite a vivid yellow, this is. Lovely. And what have we got? We've got Enchanted Red. That's a lovely poppy, poppy red that is. Again, by just adding that little bit of alcohol blending solution, it just changes completely. And we've got Blue Lagoon. And this is a really deep blue. So you only need a tiny, tiny amount. Again, by just adding that blending solution, you can see that lovely blue. And then lastly, we've got Starline Grey. I've run out of room on there, so let's grab another piece of yepo and again that's just a dark grey but the minute you add your blending solution it just really does come to life so many uh, different tones in it I've been playing with them over the weekend and they are really quite fabulous to work with. Um, I've really enjoyed using them so uh, I'll be showing you in the videos anyway. Okay so we've got three metallics here so I've got a copper so give that a good shake and then I'm hoping you can see the metallic up against the grey. And I'll do the same with the silver. I hope you can see that. Looks fabulous from where I am. And the gold. So mix it well. And then you can see how different those three metallics are. They actually work really nicely with the grey. Okay guys, um, that's all I wanted to show you with regards to the colours just so that you get an idea of what they look like because you can never quite tell in the bottles. And now 
we'll make some cards. Okay, so we've got our Lavinia Stamps Yepo card here, and I'm going to start with Gooseberry. So just pop a little of that down and then adding our blending solution. I'm just going to move that around a little. And then taking our air dryer. And you can see the different tones in that that lovely green. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the grey. And again, I'm just going to move that around. Colour shall we have? I think we'll go with the violet. Put a little bit of that in. As I say, you only need a tiny amount. The ink is really quite uh, a strong colour, so it goes a long way, that's for sure. just going to take the blending solution down the edges here and just blend them together to stop the line being quite as harsh just gives us this incredibly smoky effect which I just love. So if I wanted to break the colour up a little um, with some blending solution, I'm just going to use my tool here um, and add a few drops and I'm just going to dot that around. And it gives us a really fabulous texture. I hope you can see what that's done now. Okay, so now I'm just going to make sure that that's completely dry. Now if you want to stamp straight onto this, you can. Um, but using the archival ink. And as we know, silhouette stamping onto Yepo is always a little tricky. Um, so maybe choosing more sort of three-dimensional stamps is the easier option. That's what I find personally anyway. Um, and of course the other way is um, what we've done before and that's using the alcohol lift and then transferring that onto matte card and then we can stamp straight onto that without a problem. And I've got my alcohol lift ink here. So 
I'm going to pop just a line of this across the top and then I'm going to blend that down the page and then taking my matte card just place that over the top and give that a smooth over and hopefully the image has transferred onto the card like so I just think that's a great technique to give you an instant background and it's just it's just lovely the the smokiness of it you get all the detail of the blending solution you get all those two-tone colors within it as well so that's a good base to be working on okay so I've just trimmed our card down now and we're going to stamp onto this I'm going to do a little bit of embossing first I think I think we're going to go that way maybe that way yeah maybe that way um, so we've got some new embossing powders here uh, let's have a look at what colours we've got earth tone blueberry we have uh, Himalayan musk we have a chocolate caramel pearl primary purple orchid and we've got opaque vanilla white so these are our new embossing powders I did some tests earlier today so you can see the variation of colour um, and then you can't you won't be able to see the cream um, the opaque vanilla white because it's on cream card as well but I'm going to use the vanilla on this so I'm going to take one of our thistles um, inky, inking up in the Versa mark and I'm just going to pop a few of these about I'll do one at a time so I can see where I'm up to so this is just um, a heat gun now that I'm using with the uh, WOW embossing powders And it's just changing now. Okay, and that sits really nice on there actually. So we're going to do a few more of those. side and again I'll just heat those up okay now we'll just do one more over here Just pop those back in there and pop the lid on. Okay. So I've got my other thistle here. These come in a set, by the way. These are these are a really old but favourite 
stamp set. Uh, you can see there, we've got the two different thistles. Okay, so I'm going to use two colours for the thistle now. I'm going to use the Shady Lane and the Monarch. And all I'm going to do is pop the green down on the stalk. And then for the thistle, I'm just going to use the Monarch. It doesn't matter if you overlap slightly. And then I'll just pop that down. Okay. And again. And this time I'm going to just stamp a little off and pop that down over here. And all I'm doing is just building up a picture. So again, I'm just going to pop the monarch on the top and the shady lane on the bottom there. Okay, so I've got another one of our seed heads here. I'm going to pop a few of these around as well. And this time I'm just going to ink up in the Monarch. Okay, so I'm going to go with the warm breeze and the twilight to go around the edge. So I'm going to start with warm breeze. So I'm just using my smoothie here to go around the edge. Bringing the colour up slightly from the bottom of the card. Okay, and then I'm going to use the twilight just to deepen that colour even more. Just on the edges. Just gives it a nice bit of depth. And then literally just kiss the edges, giving it a really nice sort of distressed look. like so. So I'm just going to pop a few words down.
and this time I'm going to ink up in the warm breeze. I don't want the wording to be too overpowering. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching something a little bit different, um, something that reminds me of Scotland, those beautiful thistles. And I think it's just a good way of layering colour by using the embossing powders. Thanks for watching guys, you take care and we'll see you real soon, bye for now.